surprisingly, the most, uh, promising cup was Mushroom Cup. I think I fell off the platform every Ghost Valley, uh, one run, for whatever reason. I finished with 7.35, four out of four thumbs. Got a double feather on friggin' BC1. Made a clean mushroom bowl hop. I'm gonna pull the plug on this one. Damn you, Princess. The driving was about as solid as I could hope for. Of course. Fuck you. Ah, uh, I missed. Hey, <laughs> I don't plan on restarting every time, but if I can't get a clean MC1, what's the point? I I do a good enough job of losing time on other trucks. That's a much more acceptable time.
Okay, we just do not need to fall off the platform here. It'd be nice. Not even gonna build the boost. We almost fell off. That'll take a 50. As I'll say, I'd rather go extra wide than crash. Like luster, MC1, but no major disasters. Long boost or not to long boost? That is the question. Damn it. That's a great value, Long Goose. The Fisher Price. Okay, that's a better Long Goose. A little bit more bougie, Long Goose. Sure. Middle of the mall, long boost. Here's your bargain basement, long boost. All right, seven eleven. Wait, seven eighteen. What's up, man? I was looking at the old time. I wish it was seven eleven. Still better than what I've been doing. The 
goal is just not to have any major crashes or get computer trolled. Man, they've tried. And I, I know you can probably will relate and say the same thing, but I feel like the trolling is so much harsher when you're trying to do a speed running. Uh, absolutely none. So that was good, cons all things considered, but no RNG whatsoever. Had 48, 102, uh, 5097. BC3 was, I think, 113. It wasn't super great. I did kind of crash that. Man, they are still trying to troll me. I thought about going for the wall ride, might mess me up. Yeah, I'm trying to play it much safer. There will be runs where I go for it more, but since Mushroom Cup started out relatively clean, I'll try to be a little... I'll try to balance between going for it and playing safe. Not sure. <clears throat> I haven't fell off a platform. All my runs I was falling off GV1 and GV2 platforms. Last night. I'd say last night, uh, DK Jr. was feeling a little foreign. I guess just it's been a long time since I played with him. The computer trolling definitely has me a little bit rattled. I almost expect it at this point. I'm surprised how consistent it is. Some RNG, but I'm not gonna try it. All right, man, I hope that goes well. Hope you get a golden controller pad, man. Yeah, that mushroom was the first uh, bit of RNG at all. 
been all greens and bananas before then. I don't even think I got red shells. Not really sure though. Last night's runs, I didn't get any better than I think 130 here, and I got one feather and went too far to the right. What's up, Sims? How's it going? So far, my only crashes have been on the BCs here. And please don't get me green shell. God damn it. Why did I shoot it? You want to get rid of the items in hopes of getting the feather. This is a rhythmic course. Uh, get out of that rhythm, it gets tough. So I'm looking at. Ugh, looking 137 here. Oh, nailed it. That's awesome. That's a good thing. I try to get my wife to play Super Mario Kart, but she won't have it. That the learning curve is rough starting out. She did play time trials for a while, and she was doing pretty good. Be a surprisingly good MC3. 116 is still good for a speed run, though. And I said I was going to take it more careful. I definitely didn't. Honestly, I don't know how to. Take it careful there. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. Feel like I would lose more time just trying to do a normal 180 around that hairpin. Okay, 17 minute mark going into KB1 is what I was looking for, so. Honestly disgusted, I somehow can't beat my one player uh, speed run time on two player, even though it's much faster and much easier. The goal is 32, uh, sub 32 30 which should be very doable. I'm not going to dare go for it.
Yeah, you can do a super shortcut there at the end. But my um, percentage made is not very good. Last night I was really caught off guard by the speed of uh, Bowser and, and uh, Donkey Kong. After playing with Luigi for so long. That went about as well as it could have. <laughs> that was some zany shit. And a fetter? What? Kevin Fetterlon? I'll take it. The feather wasn't very good. But. Finally some RNG. That's such a bonus. Man, I really shit the bed on VL1. That's not a place I usually do with that. Knocked out the wrong block. Gotta get on my horse now. This course has not been going well. Whatever reason. I'll take it in comparison to some of the other races I've been having there. Probably late March, I'm thinking. Yeah, or April. I think Matt's got them all at this point. Thank y'all for joining, uh, because speedrunning in this game is not one of my favorite things to do. And, I don't know. To me, it makes it way more fun. BC1 should, uh, BC3 should have been better. Still on a decent pace, I think. Nice sense.
Trying to go for a safer wall hit there. It didn't work out that time. Dead halt. Still better than last night's runs. I have a 64, I just don't have a copy of the game. I have a copy of uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, but I don't have a GameCube. I would just be happy with sub-33 at this point. I haven't played Mario Kart 64 since I was probably a teenager, so who knows? Maybe maybe we we're missing something that everybody else found likable about it. But for me, uh, the worst thing about the 64 era was giving Mario voice and all the other characters. This is the constant Yahoo, 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 Yahoo. Like that's just enough to drive me fucking crazy. God forbid you get a golden mushroom. I never played Perfect Dark. I've heard it's just as good as Golden uh, Golden Eye, but. If not better, I did. I played the hell out of Golden Eye, though. Ironically, I didn't feel like cooking tonight just to save some time to be able to stream earlier. I got a pizza. And did not ask for bacon, but there's definitely globs of bacon on it. Not a fan of pork in general. I mean, I get it. It's pretty tasty, but... Not a good KB2, but a survivable KB2.
Now, high quality bacon, that's a whole other story. I can deal with that. But some bargain basement bacon? No, thank you. And it was bargain basement bacon. I'm going to attempt the infinite boost here. I feel like I end up losing time. A special cup on a good run. This is where you start feeling the nerves. This is why I feel like it's best for me to be streaming, so I'm talking. It's a kind of a welcome distraction. I feel like this kind of pressure is the best uh, thing to prepare you for a tournament. Because you won't get this kind of pressure just racing for PRs for sure. This is generally where I get the most rattled. The L2 in particular. God damn it! If you want to see me get mad, watch me do speedruns. You can't count on me times that's happened. That's another thing that sucks about speedruns. You're this far invested into it. Need a feather. Like, nothing pisses me off where some VL2 than when they just jump in front of you right there. It's just so fucking shitty. I didn't know how to navigate that. Mother fuck. There goes the 32, most likely. Mario, fuck off. God. Fucking damn it. It's the perfect fucking Rainbow Road fucking shitstorm. Ugh. <sighs> 